Hello and welcome. This is a, a walk from the lower McLeod Falls to the middle McLeod Falls and then ending at the upper McLeod Falls. So this is in McLeod. It's uh, close to Mount Shasta, the mountain. And as I was walking down here from this little uh, parking area here, where I started with the uh, picnic uh, tables, as I went down, I saw these people there, left with the red, who were take a pic taking pictures of something. And then, I was as I was looking, I noticed that there was this big bird standing in the middle of the the river, the stream. It's a heron, if I'm not mistaken, and I had seen them many times in San Francisco, but never here in the Manchester area before, so it was a happy surprise, and I stayed here taking a video of it for close to 15 minutes. I have a separate video where you see some longer extended footage of what what I'm showing here, because here I'm just uh, focusing more on the the hike. But come on, let's take a look. A look. There to the right is um, the bottom of the waterfall. And when we started, we started uh, from this viewpoint, the very right. And we had a view on the waterfall that's here now in the, the middle of the screen. That's where the water is falling down. And now this is panning upstream, upstream in the direction that I'm going to walk now. And that's the direction of the middle falls. I always enjoy looking at the, the shapes of the, the rocks here, how they are shaped by the, the water, the water flows, um, especially in the early springtime, just after the winter, and then this whole uh, area is flooded, and there's a big stream coming down from the mountains. And the whirling of the wa water, I guess, is creating these uh, organic shapes in the rocks. So now I'm making my way to the trail. And this is an easy hike, it's not, uh, not a really big um, height difference, except uh, at the, uh, the middle of the falls, if you go up from middle falls to the upper falls, that's, that's a bit of a climb, but other than that, this is a easy walk. And here we're passing a uh, campground close to the river as you can see. I 
think the name was uh, Fa Fallers Campground. It's only open in the summertime. In the winter, this uh, area is closed off um, to, to uh, motor traffic. So then here, as you can see, once you're past the, the campground, it's about a half a mile to the middle McLeod Falls. And mostly just uh, like an easy, steady path. And from time to time you can go to the right and get closer to the river. But for now I'm just uh, following the path to Middle Falls. It's not too um, obvious from uh, this footage, but uh, so to the right is uh, the river, and then and on the opposite side of the river is a uh, steep rock wall. So we're walking here in, in a canyon of sorts. And you can climb over these rocks and get closer from, uh, from different uh, directions. I usually go this, this area. Now this is at the end of the summer, so the amount of water coming down that waterfall there is not not too big in the, in the springtime. This is a more spectacular location to to look. And here up there, that's where I'm going to next. Um, there's also a parking lot at that uh, spot at the top of the, the rock so if you happen to go to the middle falls by car then you need to walk down and there's a zigzag trail that leads down to this spot down here Just looking back at the trail that I came from, to the left is the one to Lower Falls, and then to the right is a fork that is going up to the parking area, and from there you can continue to the Upper Falls. Look. 
one more time indicating where we are going to. So then here I'm continuing at the fork and going not this direction, that's where I came from, but this direction up. So this is the only part of the trail that's a bit of a climb. This is a steady climb going up to the, the top of that rock that I showed before. As you go higher, some certain points you get beautiful view down at the, the waterfalls. Just like this uh, particular spot. So we're now almost uh, at the top. even a section that has a stair, a staircase. So from Lower Falls to this one, to the Middle Falls, was about half a mile. Well, it's more because the half a mile was uh, measured from the end of the um, the edge of the uh, campground. So then you have to go from the campground to the lower falls. That's also maybe two tenths of a mile. And then from the middle falls here, now we are at the top where the par parking area is. Here to the to the left and to the right you have a more beautiful view down on the falls and then continue the trail to Upper McLeod Falls that is a shorter distance I would guess than from lower to middle a little less than half a mile, I would estimate. And anyway, here's the view down on the waterfall.
is a, is a view further downstream, that's, so that's where I came from. That's the direction to the lower falls. And here you can see better the rock wall now on the left. Before when I was walking it was on the right. Continuing on the last um, section of the trail, so now going from the middle falls to the upper falls. I always like to look at these rocks, they have a real presence. And then this is the only sketchy area of the trail, you can see there's a steep drop to the right, and then the path gets really narrow, but there's a few feet that are uh, Not the nicest part, especially if you have a fear of heights. But anyway, that's just a few feet, and then you get here, and we're getting to the upper falls. You're not as um, clearly to see, well, you see them here. So this is the the, uh, the best view on the upper fall, but you see only part of it because part of it is uh, covered uh, by the rocks. It's a deep, um, what do you call it, a gouge in the rocks. Anyway, this is the upper McLeod Falls. There's also a parking lot here, so we can go here directly by car if you wish. There's a picnic um, area. This is still also the location that uh, I saw the first time that I saw a black bear in the in the wild in nature, a little bit upstream from uh, this uh, particular spot. Here she was uh, fishing in the river. And, uh, yeah, very imposing animal. On this particular day I saw a, uh, a crayfish here in the stream here, and I have a separate video uh, of that. So for now this was the end of uh, my hike. I took my lunch here and then turned around and walked all the way back. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching and uh, have a wonderful day. Thank you.